Hello everyone, today we are delving into the world of Raman spectroscopy and exploring the theory behind this powerful scientific technique. Let's start by picturing a sample made up of molecules. Every molecule is in constant motion, vibrating with a unique pattern that depends on the molecule's structure. In 1928, the physicist C. V. Raman made a groundbreaking discovery. He observed that when light interacts with molecules, a small fraction of the scattered light undergoes shifts in wavelength, revealing insights into the molecular vibrations. These wavelength shifts come in two flavors, Stokes and anti-Stokes. In Stokes shifts, the energy of the scattered light is slightly lowered, resulting in a longer wavelength. Conversely, anti-Stokes shifts result in higher energy and shorter wavelengths. These shifts can be visualized in a Yablonsky diagram. In Rayleigh scattering, the energy of the scattered light is the same as the incident light. In Raman Stokes scattering, the molecule starts in a low energy vibrational state, is raised to a virtual state, and scatters light with a lower energy. In anti-Stokes scattering, the molecule starts in a high energy vibration state, is raised to a virtual state, and scatters light with a higher energy. Every molecule has a unique set of vibrations depending on its molecular structure, giving each molecule an identifiably unique Raman spectrum. We can measure the Raman spectrum by exciting the molecules with a monochromatic laser and recording the Raman scattered light. The position of the peaks in the Raman spectrum allows the molecule to be identified. In summary, Raman spectroscopy uncovers hidden molecular vibrations. Its applications span diverse fields, including identifying bacteria species, optimizing semiconductor chips, and improving the effectiveness of pharmaceutical tablets. With this foundational understanding, you're ready to explore the depths of Raman spectroscopy and its pivotal role in science and industry. And for more information on Raman spectroscopy and other spectroscopy techniques, please go to our channel at Edinburgh Instruments. Thank you.